Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Matt is gonna do a real quick video about this vehicle, and it's the Acura TLX 2020. Why do a short video? Because it's all gonna change, and I don't really feel this one when I see what's coming in 2021 for that nice TLX. But still, let's talk about the plus point V6, and how about a great sound of that engine? classical and that's what i like no turbo no four cylinder just a plain good old v6 which is really reliable this one has been used in a lot of honda and acura vehicles so you've got that aggressive styling of that acura a spec when you look at it it's really a night turner the hood the line are so aggressive the lights and when you get to the rear that dual exhaust pipe means business but it's kind of a shy business when you check at the mechanic and how performant the car is versus the competition interior comfort is amazing you've got some nice seat which is a great balance between sporty seat and comfortable one if you're gonna do a long road ahead this car is one of the most reliable of a luxury segment where cars are tending to turn toward SUV so Acura is still believing in it that's what I like and how about a great fuel economy even if you got a V6 that's a big plus on the minus side though that transmission the nine speed the zf was never really good you could feel it was kind of buggy as soon as you engage the gear with that kind of crazy shifter that we have back in the days it was looking cool but today it doesn't age really well so as you step on it it's sometimes searching gear it's going to give you that jerky that we don't like in a luxury car and how about that multimedia system Two screen hiring and trail style for the gamers in you. You're gonna see that's a funny joke though. Look, I cannot believe that they're even using two screen once again with those kind of old school multimedia system that are kind of buggy. You need to press on the turbo of that computer to make it more fluid when you check the GPS. So over the time, it doesn't age well. And we are far from the competition. When we're talking about performance, overall performance, acceleration, roll handling, and that noise coming out of the tires when you push the car. So it's not a bad car. It's one of the most reliable, and for some people, it's really important. But when you check what's coming in 2021 with the new TLX, we are elsewhere. We are way ahead in time, and I just like what they have done to it. But we're going to switch to a 2.0 liter turbo engine four cylinder, which is going to be good for 272 horsepower power 280 pound feet of torque it's going to be mated to a 10 speed so this one is much more smoother much more fuel efficient android auto apple carplay that 10.2 inches screen finally in that new multimedia system it was about time because connectivity is more important than ever in a car and they're back to the roots of what was acura in the past you know that performance division of honda the training car when you step behind the wheels you're gonna get some exaltation and that's what they want to do because there's a unique chassis also for that TLX so base price is gonna be just a little bit under 44k but the great news is that you're gonna have a TLX type S 2021 355 horsepower 354 pound-feet of torque we don't have the price right now but when you check at the elite platinum version it's a little bit under 52 grand so expect the TLX Type S to be around sixty thousand dollars so it's finally a great thing that Acura is back to its roots because when you had the Type S logo or Type R logo on the car you know it meant business you know it meant it's going to be fun behind the wheels and that uh, eye revving engine you know how about driving fun and sportiness so what do you think about that feel free to comment in the section down there below do a thumbs up because you like the video and subscribe to car question take care